video shows how to use the fingerprint scanner and our GPS tracker. The fingerprint scanner, it has two functions. First is to check the, which driver is driving, and the second is for the driver authorization. Only the authorized driver can start the vehicle. Now we have the fingerprint scanner and GPS tracker A300 model, relay, buzzer, the power cable, and external power. It needs the external power to make the fingerprint scanner work. The external power range is 11 volt to 36 volt. We use the buzzer together with the fingerprint scanner. The buzzer is used to show the registration status and the driver's login and lockout status. Now we will connect the fingerprint scanner to the tracker. It will connect to the RS232 port. Okay, make sure it connects okay. Then we will connect the buzzer. The buzzer has two cables, red and black. The buzzer's red cable can connect to the tracker's orange cable or connect to the positive of vehicle battery. Now we will connect to the tracker's orange cable. It's DC 5 volt cable. Okay, then the buzzer's black cable connect to the tracker's output 2 cable. We can find the output 2. Connect okay. Now we will wrap over the naked drives with the electrical tape after connection. This note, before using the fingerprint scanner, please make sure the tracker already configured to connect to the server. Okay, the tracker's power cable already connected to the external power. Now we will plug in the power cable to tracker. Then the tracker will be turned on. Now all the connection finishes. The fingerprint scanner's light is on. It indicates the connection is successful. Now we will send command to register the finger. Now we will send the SMS command, B4 to command to the tracker. This command includes the user ID. The user ID can be defined by the customer. Here we define the user ID as 61. After send B4 to command, the, the buzzer B twice or to command reply with the user ID. Then we can start a registration. Uh, we need to finish the registration within 3 minutes. Now put on the finger on the fingerprint scanner to sample the first finger image. Press the bit twice, lift the finger for more than 2 seconds, then put on the finger again. Press the bit once, then it indicates the registration finish. The fingerprint scanner and the tracker will be used in here. If you change the scanner or the tracker, then need to do the registration again. Now we will show you how to use the fingerprint scanner for the driver authorization to control the engine. We need to connect the relay to control engine. 
the relays white cable we connect to the positive of the vertical battery okay the relays yellow cable connect to the trackers output one cable Okay, the relay screen cable connect to the oil pump cable. Need to cut the oil pump cable first, then connect to these two green cables. Going first, use the fingerprint scanner. Need to turn the vehicle's ACC on and then off again. Then the vehicle is in lock status. We can press the we can press the registered finger to unlock the engine to start the vehicle. Okay, now we can start the vehicle. Now we will check the driver information on server. This device is online now. First, we will add the driver information. Settings. Driver add. We can define the driver name. Here we define it driver A. Here we will write the user ID. We set six one just now. The other fields we can leave it blank. Save. Now we will assign the driver to the tracker. Edit sensors add. We can define the name driver. Type choose driver assign. Parameter use RFID. Then save. Now we can see the driver information here on the home page. Now let's check the driver logbook. Here. Choose the device and choose the time range. We can choose today and show. Here we see the driver logbook. 